Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. You're back to Juma Pedotola, get married to a businessman in Abelkuta, a multimillionaire home, and they taught in the year 2021 this year. Over a period of time now, Juma Pedotola's marital life, a private life, has been a subject of discussion. And millions of Nigerians are interested. They want to know the better half of the superstar. And over time, there have been rumors here and there. Also, Juma Ke is one of the successful actresses with several mouth-watering endorsement dues. And so many people want to know what type of house does she live in and what is her net worth in this year 2021. Well, her net worth has been estimated and reported by several sites, kennyfo.com.ng, estimated her net worth to be $500,000. And that will make her one of the richest actresses we have. In your Obama movie industry. Also, on Jumanke Odetola's lovely home, even though she's also one of those actresses who don't come out to officially announce the acquisition of their assets, but then she has been flaunting her home on social media platforms. And she even shared some short clips when she was celebrating her birthday, and she got surprised by her fans. At the beginning of her career, Jumanke made it known in interviews that she was not interested in a relationship with any man as she was fully focused on her career and building her brand. However, just a while ago, it was reported on the news that she had met a man who showed her what true love was, and she fell head over heels in love with him, and she couldn't keep him to herself. This was in July 2020, with a picture of herself and her presumed lover on display. Jumoke used that medium to appreciate him for bringing her to the green side. And at another time in an interview when Jumoke was asked, about a type of man. Well, this actress stated that type of man that day. She said a type of man would be a man who would love her like a mother. And in contrary to popular opinion, she believes that a marriage between two entertainers can work. There was also another news about Jumonke Odetola being in a romantic affair with one of the producers. And at another time, they said she was in a relationship with a businessman in a Belkota part of Ogun State, which is the Ogun State capital. But as it is, Jumonke Odetola has not come out to officially announce that she's engaged to any man or married to any man. Even though we know that a lot of celebrities now like to keep their private life under wraps. And they don't like to reveal the identity of their spouses. While Jumake seems to be top of this list of these celebrities who do not reveal details of her personal life on social media platforms. There are many hidden and interesting things in heaven about the show back to Jumake Dutala. If you want to know more about her, please stay with us for a short but interesting biography of Jumake Dutala. Our phone name is Jumake Olamide Ajoke Odetola, but then she's also popularly known as Binto Ofigi. She's an award-winning Nigerian actress, scriptwriter, and a producer. And according to Wikipedia, she was born on 16th of October in 1983, so that will make her 37 years old. Many people do not know this, but she started her career with the English sector of Nollywood before she joined the Yoba movie side. Aside acting, she's also a budding entrepreneur. Jumoke grew up in a family that had a very strict father and a religious mother. They were mostly girls, but then they were trained to survive in the man's world. Her father wanted all of them to be professionals, such as engineers, doctors, financial managers, among others. This is to back up the cliche that what a man can do, a woman can do better. Her parents loved all their children equally, according to her, but then she was treated extra special because she's the last child. For education, she attended Abati, Nigeria Primary School. Then she went to Abokuta Girls Grammar School in Abokuta for her secondary school education before she obtained a bachelor's degree in computer science from Ajayi Crowder University in Oyo State. She later proceeded to the Federal University of Agriculture in Abelkuta, where she backed a master's degree in computer science. She graduated with a cumulative GP of 4.3 and had an NYC service at Abia State. The first movie she featured was Heroes and Zeros, which was directed by Niji Akone. She played the role of a prime journalist. After Heroes and Zeros, she went for NYC in Abia State and she came back and resumed acting in the year 2013. She has been acting ever since then. She came into the limelight to the Yoruba movie titled Binta of Fige. According to her, an interview, Jumoke disclosed that her decision to venture into acting was contrary to her parents' wish, but they later on accepted her chosen career because of her fulfillment in the entertainment industry. Also, her career got a boost. Following the two awards she won at the AMVC Award, she won the Best Indigenous Yoruba Movie Slash Series Production 2017, 
and the best female actress at the City People Movie Awards. For her most challenging role so far, she chose the character in the movie Somewhere in the Dark, a film that featured Gabriel Afolayan. For her role models in the movie industry, the first role model is Abiodun Jimo. This is her main mentor in the movie industry. And she also gets her inspiration from Omotela Jaladi, Kende, Mesa, Ibe, Genevieve, Naji, and Kimberly Ellis. Jumoke pointed out that Mesa Ibe, unlike most of our contemporaries when she joined the movie industry, received her with open hands. She also admires Genevieve Naji because of her survival spirit. And the fact that Genevieve made it to the top without negative stories in the press, without controversies, Jumoke believes that a star's life doesn't always have to be a controversial one. Life about drugs, fights, and all that. And she said, we can live our lives decently, professionally, and with hard work, we'll make it to the top by God's grace. Some of the movies she has featured in over the years include Adjoji Lafi, Aditu Idajo, Bataleju, Bataleju 2, Alayameji, Good Deed, Somewhere in the Dark, Bintal Fuge, Heroes and Zeros, Lagedo, Bachelors Eve, Ala Kitty, Teen Cell, Family Ties, Tanikbe, Waiting Women Want, Bintal Fuge, and The Stunt, just to mention a few of them. According to Jumoke, a passion surfaced while watching actors across the screen as a child. Then she said to herself that she could do the same or even better. She would lock herself up in the room several times to be years and she used to create her own dialogue and act out all the characters. Her sister Kemi used to join Jumoke to act out these characters and the two sisters were both determined to nurse their ambition secretly. So after Jumoke is NYC, she was convinced that she had done what her father wanted. He wanted her to study computer engineering and she said to herself that she can now face her life and concentrate on her passion. That was how she took up acting professionally and the rest today is history. Also, before Jumoke joined the entertainment industry, her father had his own concrete plans. Jumoke would have become an information technologist. Her father already had plans with his partners in Germany. Jumoke would have finished her master's program and moved to Germany. First to learn basic German for six months, then start working in a German company. Her dad had all this worked out. But Jumoke always knew that she wanted to be an actress and kept on praying silently that her father's plan would not work out. So this is a short but interesting biography of this Yuba actress Jumoke Olamide Ajoke or Detola. We have come to the end of this episode of Jumoke Detola gets married to a businessman in Abelkuta, multimillionaire home and network in the year 2021. We hope you enjoyed this episode and learned one or two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.